Irish people are obsessed with style. One of the biggest events in the fashion calendar is the VIP Style Awards. One special day in the life of modern Ireland. From dawn to dusk, we get an insight into the glamorous world of Irish celebrities on one of their most important occasions. There are four hotly contested awards. Most Stylish Woman, Most Stylish Couple, The Man of Style Award, and The Most Stylish Woman on the Night. That should keep them on their toes. We meet Amanda Brunker, former Miss Ireland and journalist. She is one of the nominees for Ireland's Most Stylish Woman. That list includes some usual suspects, like Rosanna Davidson, Lorraine Keane, Glenda Gilson, and Georgina Ahern. So game on. I've won! I've won! I've won! I'm so happy for things like this don't happen to people like me. Pippa O'Connor, model and socialite. Rear. And her TV presenter boyfriend, Brian Ormond, are nominated in the category of most stylish couple. Up against dynamic duos like Anne and Dan, Avon and Ronan, and Rosanna and Wesley. So all base is covered. Kate wondered would you get the wow factor. I told her no. I haven't had time to get the wow factor. And the mastermind behind it all, Michael O'Doherty, publisher of VIP magazine and presenter of the VIP Style Awards. The event started two minutes ago. There's nobody here. Oh well. Oh my god, no coming up. Hello, Michael. Stacy. The big day of the VIP Style Awards has dawned, and 43-year-old Michael gets things moving with a jog in the park. This is the ninth year for Michael to host the awards. Pippa and Brian do it in style and stay in a luxury penthouse. They kick off the day with room service. Lately, Amanda's party days have been put on hold, so she can take on the role of mum and novelist. Michael was a founder of VIP magazine, and two years later in 2000, he launched the VIP Style Awards. On a global scale, the concept of celebrity is very different, I think, to what the VIP definition of a celebrity would be. People snag us off to an extent saying, oh, you consider them celebrities and they're nobodies. It's not what you see at the Oscars, but our celebrities are the people that, that sell our magazine. That stuff I left in your desk, uh, the disc is what you were looking for for the screens, right? I want about three of each. I've got a lot of Brian and Pippa, but that's deliberate, okay? But of the others, I just need two or three. Can you start organizing the photos? I particularly like the Most Stylish on the Night Award. These are all stylish women. They go to a massive amount of trouble. Like, some people will have taken the day off work today to get their hair, their makeup ready, their dress fitted. There is a competitive element at the Style Awards, which increases every year. I would like to think it has possibly peaked. This is the first time that we have done the Style Awards uh, at a time when people haven't been talking about how well the economy is and how well the country is doing and how much, how much money there is. I know already anecdotally that people are cutting back, but I mean, the Style Awards are not about money. They're not about expense. It is not the most expensively dressed women in Ireland. It is the most stylish women in Ireland. Amanda and her partner, Philip McLaughlin, have two sons, Edward and Satanta. I don't get nominated for many awards, but yes, this is the first time that I've been nominated for the Peter Mark VIP Style Awards. And yes, it's good fun. I don't take it too seriously, though. If we win tonight, which I very much doubt, uh, it would be lovely, of course. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Here. Did you have a good night's sleep? Did you? dreams did you have? Mm -hmm. Children don't understand the meaning of, you know, a decent hour. Like They get up at five, six. I used to be coming in from nightclubs at five, six in the morning. <laughs> that doesn't happen anymore, does it, son? I think the idea of celebrity is, is, is quite funny. I, I, never, I never wanted to be famous, which sounds bizarre. Look at you. Hey, hey, hi. Hey. I never did my leaving, and I don't have a college degree, so I kind of had to 
work my assets, as it were. This is every mother's dream. This is every mother's dream. The mornings are the easiest part of my day. You know, I enjoy just doing the normal stuff, to be honest. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of, you know, this is, what having kids is about, so I don't really, I don't really get stressed out. I just kind of enjoy it. Give your brother a kiss, please. Give your brother a kiss. Tell me, love him. Amanda leaves Satanta with her childminder while she takes Edward to play school. Quick, 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 quick! Out you go, out you go. Did you have enough to eat? Did you have it? Yeah, we're gonna walk. Did you have enough to eat? We met at my friend's birthday party in Crystal. I remember the night well. Love to say Pippa does as well, but she doesn't. <laughs> Pippa was having a great time with her friends, a bit tipsy, tipsy, pipsy. <laughs> and um, we just kind of got chatting and exchanged phone numbers. And then I texted her during the week and she didn't know who it was from and <laughs> that type of thing. Yeah. It's like, who's Brian? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it at all to get no. nominated. We didn't... Definitely not me. I'm not a stylish type of guy. I don't think so. What do you want now? I'm delighted for Pippa. I think it'd be great for Pippa because that's what she does for a living. Like she's a model. You'd love it. You know, she's. <laughs> yeah, I'd love it. Um, <laughs> but for, I don't know. I'm gonna, I kind of just giggle out and laugh. It's, it's great to be nominated. I'm just most excited about getting my hair and makeup done. I love when Michael and Derek um, do me up operation transformation. Just don't go too mad. He hates when I have makeup on. He's like, I don't Ugh. hate when you make break I, you have you. too much makeup on. I'm afraid. She's like, give us a kiss. I'm like, you'll, you'll break. I don't know. See, you're great like that. No. <laughs> for Brian, it's time for work. For Pippa, it's going to be all about getting ready for the big occasion. Right. <laughs> Ow. Pulled me in the eye. So we get some. Michael not only runs VIP magazine, but a host of other publications. Among them, TV Now and Kiss magazine are going to press today. It's the busiest time of the week for him. It's him and his partner. Okay, that's fine. All right, well then I don't need to speak to him. That's fine. Just, uh, just check with him where, where he's getting the ticket. Because he'll have to pick one up because I won't recognize him. This is TV Now magazine. This is next, next week's. This will be on sale on Tuesday. This is the cover, so I just have to check that this is going to be okay. Who can spell in here? Susan, she's gone. Uh, dysfunctional, is it D-I or D-Y? D-Y. Who put in unafraid? You know I hate those words, which are not proper words. It's, it's the same family as unsurprisingly. Oh my God. Amanda drops her son Edward to the creche then heads off to file her copy at the Sunday World. I suppose people's perception of me has changed, but they've changed as I've grown as well. I've kind of grown up in the media in the last, gosh, I won Miss Ireland back in 91. I think that's 18 years ago this August, which is just wild. Like, that's a huge amount of time to be kind of in and around the public eye. Um, so I've been getting into trouble for donkey's years, and when I get into trouble, I kind of end up doing it spectacularly. Friday is always a busy day, but apart from when you have a style awards on or anything like that, Friday is deadline day in the newspaper. I just have to get into the office and I'm actually running late. Amanda and Blonnet, I have just put 20 euro on you both to win VIP style awards with Boyle Sports. If either of you win, I pocket 520 euro. Come on, the ladies. So, uh, so that's kind of. I should probably have a punt on myself, actually. Like I used to have about three, get about three hours sleep. I'm 34 now, and I'm just like, oh, I'm getting old. I have to start looking after myself. But tonight, the old Bronco will be back. And then at 12 o'clock, I'll probably turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> Somebody at my desk. I think Rosanna would be kind of a, a worthy winner or Glenda. 
I think Lorraine Keane would really like to win it, so it would be kind of nice for her to win it. Anyway, we'll all find out later this evening. Now I have to do a bit of work. Be gone. Coming up in part two, Pippa has a crisis. I think people think I'm joking when I say I haven't tried it on yet. I actually can't believe I'm so calm. So I hope it fucking fits me. At the venue, Michael's table plans don't look familiar. Looks like the IRFU have beat us to it. <laughs> they spoke the room, and it was, I sincerely hope that's from yesterday. Amanda is envisaging a wild night. <sighs> Terrible thing is, I can nearly almost feel the Saturday hangover <laughs> and the kids screaming at me already. Preparations are underway for the VIP Style Awards, one of modern Ireland's most high-profile events. Pippa is applying her first layer of makeup, but this is only to tide her over until the experts arrive. Derek Carberry's going to come here later on and do my makeup. Thank God. He's so good. He uh, really knows his stuff. You know, I can do it well myself, obviously, but it's not as much fun or you don't feel as nice as you do kind of, you know, when someone does it for you. So. No, I'm in the bar, so. We're in the penthouse, it's lovely. I have to go and get my dress, I haven't tried it on yet. Got the blue one, yeah. Yeah, and you're going with the green, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Pippa's on her way to Newbridge, County Kildare, to collect her dress, which has just arrived from New York. If it doesn't fit, she has no plan B. I think people think I'm joking when I say I haven't tried it on yet. I actually can't believe I'm so calm that I haven't tried on what I'm wearing in a few hours yet. Um, so I hope it feckin' fits me. The moment of truth has arrived, and for Pippa, size definitely does matter. I think so. Definitely. I like the way it's kind of see through and you can see the short of it underneath. Oh, that's perfect. I'm going to have my hair up. Gorgeous. Well, it fits as well. It's a bit <laughs> worried there. Well, yeah, especially when it's today. <laughs> I know. Last minute always works out for me. Thanks. Oh, I'm such such a fab adorer of this ring. Oh, this is thank your thank you, you card. Thanks for really much. Be thanking you for all your help. Imagine my engagement ring was that big. Oh. Wiser. <laughs> yeah. It's fab. Thanks so it's gorgeous. much. Gorgeous. Back in Dublin, Michael squeezes in a guest spot on News Talk. Okay. I'm here anyhow. With only minutes to spare, Michael makes it in the nick of time. And welcome back to lunchtime. Your texts are still flying in on ways to solve this economy. One way might be to go out tonight to the Peter Marks VIP Style Awards. Where are they on, Michael Doherty? They're on the Shelburne Hotel. That's the, the Knob Hotel, is it? That's the hotel that I see you in every Friday. <laughs> Not me. If you look at the last few years in Ireland, the Celtic Tiger, did it also kind of create um, another class in Ireland, like the kind of a sort of nouveau riche builder banker class? And, and is, is that what your awards are about? Our awards are about style. They're about glamour. Um, <clears throat> and it's been in Ireland for a long time. I think we launched the awards, just funnily enough, at the exact time that the Celtic Tiger was really starting to roar and that people had a lot of money. So we tapped into some of the older kind of generation of people who love dressing up, but they had no kind of forum in which to show it off. But simultaneously, we tapped into, I think, what you're talking about, which is kind of a new generation of people, maybe the sons and the daughters of people who made money and indulged their children in their early 20s. And they spent a lot of money on clothes and they went out partying every night and they suddenly found this great form to show off you know, how stylish they were and how much money they could afford to spend. That's it for today. My thanks to my guests, Sean Ardani, Vines and Michael Darcy. Thank you. I've got three text messages since that little stint on radio of people looking for tickets. Somebody very well known phoned us up at nine o'clock this morning who had not RSVP'd and suddenly 
She wanted to not just come, she wanted to bring two people with her. And we couldn't say no. I just asked Ali to give him a call and say that's fine and give the details and say there'll be a ticket for him, um, you know, kind of waiting at reception. And, and just kind of suss out that he is definitely coming. I don't want to go to all this trouble and then have him think ah, I could be arsed, you know. All right, thanks. Bye. Michael makes his first visit of the day to the Shelburne Hotel and checks the progress of the function room. Well, now I wonder if these are table plans. Um, management board RFU. Oh, it looks like the IRFU have beat us to it and they've sent both the room. And it was, I sincerely hope that's from yesterday or we're in trouble. Um, this is the room now currently being set up. It's now two o'clock, so there's six hours to go before people are sitting down and as you can see we're there you know we're finished this is exactly what it's going to look like in six hours well yeah there's a bit of work to be done um this will be the dance floor the camel bears are on later and uh people will be taking their hair extensions off rather than letting their hair down now i'm just really worried about what i'm going to say and the kind of uh, the technical stuff that goes on while I'm talking about the nominations, making sure we have the pictures and things are set up. And at some stage, I'm going to have to change. Do you know, I genuinely have not worked out what I'm going to wear. So, back to work. Just don't want to be worrying about another thing today. Just, just organise a car for around one and around seven. Uh, picking up the airport, going to the Westbury. Cool. Thanks, sir. Give it to me on a piece of paper and I'll and make sure I put it in my pocket and I'll take it out when I announce it and make sure that I mention it. Is that okay? Lisa, I gotta go. I have a million things to do. I gotta go. Now, you're doing the pictures for the, uh, the most valuable woman of the night. Is that right? You don't know about this? Are you kidding me? Whatever is the quickest. That's all I want. Because, we, because we're doing that award first, so we need to turn around fast. Um, I'm stressed. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, Ryan. Okay, bye bye. Sorry. Oh wait, BMW, a photographer. Business is tough, obviously. Oh, I'm playing phone tennis with somebody now. I miss her calls. She misses my calls. I'm gonna miss her again. Across town, Amanda has just finished her weekly column at the Sunday World. We're off now to get my hair done and at some stage that I need to uh, get food for the dinner. If all else fails, there's always fish fingers and waffles to fall back on. Though I try not feed them fish fingers that often. This is no copy of VIP. We forgot to register Satanta. He's 19 months and he doesn't have a birth cert. <laughs> I, I was going to go to a local solicitor's and kind of say, you know, can you sign the form to, to say that this is my son, Satanta, but I was bringing a copy of VIP just to prove it. <laughs> For this red letter day in Irish style, hair guru Gary Kavanagh and his team from Peter Mark have created a style club inside the Shelburne. You're very natural, sexy looking. Yeah, mm. fabulous. You know, just right. effortlessly like I just Totally, said. yeah. Is there any point in people voting now? Oh, it's lines closed. Uh, oh, really? Yesterday. Oh, I better tell everybody yes. so. Because they hadn't voted up until now. Right. Everybody was going to vote for me today. No, lines are closed. Oh, sugar. Yeah. Gary, what's the look we're going for? Um, sexy chic. Hollywood casual. Hollywood casual? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Like it. Hollywood casual. Jeez. That works for me. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, get me, get a load of me. Sorry, Ken. Oh, that's fab. Oh, thank you very much. It's the taking part that counts, isn't that right? <laughs> if you believe that. We don't believe you. <laughs> See you later, take it easy. What do you think, huh? The Friday feeling is definitely kicking in. <sighs> Terrible thing is, I can nearly almost feel the Saturday hangover and the kids screaming at me already. Michael makes final tweaks before the magazines go to press. Crash, we get that page 14 sorted? Um, is the rest of the mag ready to go? Yeah. Mel? Phone tennis, finally got you. Um, do you still want that extra ticket? It's a once-in-a-lifetime once offer. 
Okay, listen, I have to go. Pippa is back in Dublin city centre to have her hair styled by Michael Doyle. So what's Brian doing today? He's in work. Is he? Yeah, so he's left me all on my lonesome. Okay, if he were kind of playing it down with this little black person. Yeah. Sign of the time. Sign, recession. we're in a recession now. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? Do you have the inside info? Bet you do. <laughs> Give us the goss. <laughs> no, I don't. And the hairdresser. The hairdresser's never, yeah. the hairdresser's never tell you. Yeah. <laughs> so what else have we got to do now for today? Um, just get my face on, as you can see. That's it, really. Go back to the hotel and chill out. Michael has worked his magic, but what does Pippa think? Excellent. Thanks a million. Fab. Yeah. Perfecto. Coming up in part three, Louis Walsh is having reservations about Amanda's hairstyle for the big night. It's very Eurovision presenter. It is. In the, in the 80s. It is. <laughs> it's true. Michael is beginning to have second thoughts about wearing all black. People think I'm getting fat for wearing all black because that's what fat people do is they just wear all black. Pippa doesn't seem overly confident. I'll be like that tonight when I don't win. Meow. With just under four hours to go to the start of the VIP Style Awards, the pressure is building, no, no, and Michael O'Doherty is beginning to feel the heat. Michael delivers the disc with the photos to be projected onto the screens, but there's some confusion regarding the images of the most stylish woman on the night. God, people haven't arrived yet. How can we take pictures of them? They're, they're the people on the night, okay? So we're, and they're the last things we'll give you, and they're the first things that need to go on. That'll be item number one. Single shots of eight different women. People look at themselves six years ago. It's brilliant. You know, they can see their picture when they were here five, six years ago. A lot of them have got older. Some of them have got younger looking. I don't know how that happens. I don't know how some of them seem to end up getting younger. But, uh, I don't know, it's just one of those things. I'm not gonna ask. This is leaning forward. It's probably leaning forward because Amanda Brunker's chest is dragging it forward. Just one thing missing. The guests. That's what it is. I knew it looked a bit quiet. <laughs> Amanda has an important meeting with Louis Walsh. She wants him to help her launch her new book in the UK. Is it just May, yeah? Yeah. London, yeah. Are you going to be around? Are you yeah. doing when's X Factor? We start in June, but haven't got the dates yet. Right. You should be Katie Price. A lot of sex on my book. There's no, there's no sex in Katie's books. Amanda, do you think you have a, even a small chance tonight? Louis, shut up. But you, you obviously want to win it. No, I don't obviously want to win it. With the hair like that. I know. It. Nobody goes around with hair like that. I know. This is a Gary Kavanagh special. It's kind of, you know, you know, a few birds in there. It's very Eurovision presenter. It is. In the, eight, in the it 80s. It is. <laughs> it's true. It's, uh, it's 20 past four. And while that doesn't sound late, I'm... I like to be home for the kids by 20 past four. Oh, Jesus. I never got to the shops. What is my mother going to eat? As the clock counts down to showtime, Michael gets hands on. What time is it? Half past four. Two hours to go. Anybody who phones now looking for a ticket is seriously desperate. Seriously. So they're either incredibly famous and know, and they're just kind of trying on how famous they are, that look, I can wait two hours beforehand and I can still get a ticket. Or they're so desperate and so unknown that they just don't even know not to phone at this time. While Brian is presenting his TV program, Pippa gets her next layer applied by makeup artist Derek Carberry. You know, nothing's kind of been happening since Christmas, so yeah. you know, something to boost people, get them, get their, their spirits up. Exactly. 
Not mentioning the R word. I know. I think it's so relaxing, get my makeup done. The feel of the brushes or something. It's like getting like your hair little, washed. Yeah. It's just like, oh. Always like a mini facial, a little yeah. massage. That's what it is like. It feels so relaxing. Just Pippa's favourite part of the proceedings. Yeah. She always gets excited and happy when she sees these. <laughs> It doesn't help if you cut them a little just bit. The, I just like to cut them at the... It's a bit too long. Sometimes a bit too long. So it gives Feeling us a more it. feline effect. Like a cat. Like, like a real... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like that tonight when I don't win. Never know. This could be our night. Uh. Now Pippa feels ready for the awards. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda arrives home and her mum is babysitting Edward and Satanta. Hello! This is the only woman I trust to do my makeup. This is the fabulous Lisa. <laughs> yeah. She does a lovely job. Oh, yeah, so, I can, so I can see! Hello. Tonight, need to go a bit diva. Mm -hmm. Need to go big. Yeah. Will we get you started? Yeah. Because yeah. you might take a while. There's <laughs> a lot of work to be done. A lot of work. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah. What have we got? With red carpet arrivals looming and the ballroom far from ready, it's time for Michael to get himself dressed. I'm going home now. I'm going to go and change. I've got about an hour to do it. So, five minutes to get home, five minutes to get back, 45 minutes to have a shower and a change. And think about this speech, which I still haven't thought about. But It'll, it'll work out. While everybody else is getting creamed and plucked and dressed and made up and haired, I'm going to do my own ironing. I could go with my black velvet jacket and I could go with some tuxedo bottoms, but that's all black, and people would think I'm getting fat if I wear all black, because that's what fat people do, is they just wear all black. I don't know how people do this, literally two events in the year, and I'm already bored talking about clothes. So you have to let the starch settle for a second, or else it goes all white and it looks like you've got dandruff. Is there a scene in American Gigolo where Richard Gere lays out all his suits and then he gets ties and he puts them down like that? And there's a slight American Gigolo moment here going on. So, I wonder what I'll be. Is the black shirt just too black? Brian has finished work and goes to pick up his suit. But will it give him the edge to win the Man of Style Award? Cheers. Amanda had to resort to fish fingers and waffles. With dinner on, Lisa applies the finishing touches. Is a diva enough for Bob the dog? What do you think, Robert? What do you think? Look, I fell out of the back. Put your, do we put a love on? Do we put the hair on, Bob? Come on, Bob. You're like a big tiger. <laughs> Reality bites and dinner has to be rescued. I have a shade in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually quite a good cook. She is the best. Bob, don't eat the dinner. Don't eat. Bob, do not eat the dinner. Bob the dog is not camera shy, but Amanda's partner, Philip, is. What do you think? <laughs> Philip doesn't care. Has the MC for the evening finally decided what to wear? So, white on black rather than black on grey. I'm going for this. I'm going for this one. It is also food friendly and white and red wine friendly, which is kind of important at events like this. Ooh, somebody just pulled out. <laughs> And I know why they've pulled out, and the reason they've given is not the real reason. Anyhow, it's not a big deal. Two down, 298 still coming, so we'll be fine.
thank you to Katrina Hanley, who gave me that as a joint birthday and Christmas present from her own shop. So it costs her nothing, but I have this fear of leaving the oven on. I'm not going to do it. I have a fear of leaving the lights on, and I have the most bizarre fear that there's a delay on the fan in the bathroom so that when you switch off the light, the fan still stays on for about 30 seconds and I cannot leave the apartment till the fan goes off because I have a fear that if I do, it won't go off and it'll wear down the battery and the apartment is, will explode. It's not logical, I know it isn't, so I have to wait for the fan to go off. Anyhow, it's gone so we can go. It's taxi time, as a few bubbles could be an option later. General predictions, everybody's going to have a good time, everybody's going to drink champagne, everybody's going to air kiss, say lovely to see you again, not just to me, but to everybody, to people that they don't like and they don't get on with at all and they've been bitching about all year. Mmm, gorgeous, love the dress, lovely to see you. Two people pull out at the quarter to six, and it's seven minutes to six, somebody phones me up to say, I've heard they pulled out, can I bring two other people? Michael arrives back to the venue. His first mission is to check out the ballroom. It's ready on time. Six or two. One more checklist, and this time it's the uber efficient Taro Connor Michael has to answer to. I gave it to Barry an hour ago. Relax. Gosh, you're like my mum. Pippa's joined by a friend who's eager to get into party mood. Um, we have wine and champagne. Do you know what we, you know what we don't have? A clean glass. Well, I can say it's Brian. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you today? Good. You? Hectic. Nile's here. We started oh. to have a drink oh, already. Have a little drink. Are you good to see it? Good to see you very much. Cheers. All right, we've about, what, 20 minutes? Oh, I've just put my goon on. Yeah, I'm going to see it, actually. I got a different shirt, so I hope you like it. What if I don't? Come here. Yeah, well, that's nice. This is where I leave it. Have a little bit of it. As Brian and Pippa are about to get dressed, across town, Amanda has a dilemma on her hands. Okay, well, we've got two choices, okay? We've got this. One shoulder situation and it's short, shows off the leg, no cleavage, so I look all demure. Hiya! 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 What do you think I should wear, Edward? Or there's this, and you kind of put it in with a big belt and then the high shoes. Do you think I should go recessionista fashion? This is Oasis, 88 You're euro. Joking. This is 88 euro. And the other one is what? My, who's that's that? uh, that's Steve McQueen's brother Alexander. Steve. I had Steve McQueen in my wardrobe. Now I wouldn't be going recession. I don't know. I don't know where. I might try them both on. Yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah. Coming up in part four, Michael exposes less than camera shy celebs Pippa and Brian. Here's Brian and Pippa on a rare social outing in a casual look. We found another picture. Oh look, we have another picture. Oh, we have another one. And could tonight be the night for Michael? Tonight may be the night for myself and Alison. Maybe she's planned it. Maybe she's deliberately turned up single. The red carpet has been rolled out for this year's VIP Style Awards. Pippa is finally ready. But Brian is having a fashion crisis. All right, you try it tight. I think that's all right. No, it needs no, to be fatter. And it needs to, the knot needs to be fat. I think football is wives. Back across town, has Amanda decided which dress to wear? Yes, the decision has been made. Yeah. The 88 euro dress, it was a nice thought. <laughs> Another wear day. It again. Of course I'll wear it again. Oh, that's yeah. No, we're grand, Beautiful. we're happy. And I, my boobs look nice and perky in that bra. Exactly. Yeah, so happy days. Decision made. The VIP Style Awards 2009 are about to start. And Michael is joined by his co-host and editor of VIP magazine, Emer O'Reilly Highland. 20 to 7. Five minutes to go. Excuse me, you. Special. I can't see with your glasses. Oh, yeah. The event started two minutes ago. There's nobody here. Oh, well.
Oh my god, no Cunningham. No Michael. Stacey, is Sorry. that Velvet as well? No. 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 Is that rayon? This is no. Is that latex? Is... <laughs> Looks like something out of the human league. Everybody's always terrified of being the first in. So most of the people that we want to photograph, I would say about seven o'clock, the first wave will start. Half seven is the eye of the storm. Marcus, how are you? Very good. Hi Lee. How are you? Looking stunning. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. good. Hello, how are you? Well, hi. Hi, Michael. How are you? You look lovely. So do you. Hi, Michael. I'm good, you're looking stunning. Hi, Celia. How are you? Thank you for having me. Rosanna, why are you sneaking in? Hello. 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 I will. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, gorgeous. Are you wearing 12 inch heels? Yes, very much. <laughs> the last person to arrive in was Alison Canavan, who is a very well known model. She's one of the few Irish models who's actually made it big abroad, but she's oh, stunning. She's like in her mid 30s and has it all, just has everything. Except me, but we can work on that. You bring Alison in to walk the red carpet. Yeah, where did she? Oh, here. Sorry, Jesus, come on. She's going to walk over. Sorry, my hands are frozen. Tonight may be the night for myself and Alison. Maybe she's planned it. Maybe she's deliberately turned up single. Maybe I have her sitting at my table. I have her sitting at my table. It's just occurred to me. She actually is. Hi, gorgeous. Looking fab. Emer gets the important people. I'm going to be stuck with the randomers. Bet you the next person in is a bit random. Here's my mum. Well, she must be proud that I have a decent living, that it seems to be moderately legal. Brian and Sheila are at the back of the queue. Will I bring them up? Shoiga sandwich. Some people will make an effort to miss the half seven rush and will turn up at the last minute. They like to keep you waiting. It's the same people every year. They don't want to avoid the photographers, quite the opposite. They're coming late because they want the photographers all to themselves. Kate wondered would you get the wow factor. I told her no. I haven't had time to get the wow factor. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi on. Thank you very much, sir. Cheers. This is, this is what we call the perfect storm. Everybody is converging from Dishra. Dan, look at you. Lovely, Style nice. personified. Yeah. And Doyle. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda, come here. Amanda, what now you're now you're shy. You shrinking violet. I'm good. Looking fab. We're down to the last two at this stage, which is good for eight o'clock. Thank you very much. Lovely, Cheers. Very much. Lovely to meet you. Anyway, take care. Thank you very much. Hi, how are you? Good to see you again. Time is busy. Very Hi, thank you. Hi, thank you very much. Enjoy your evening now. Thank yes, you. Great. How are you, Lord? <laughs> how are you? Oh my God, I didn't even recognise you. How are you? How are you? We meet Mr. Vaughn. How was the job this morning? <laughs> oh, stop it. Hi, Michael. Hi, how gorgeous. Are you? I'm good. Are last right? No, did you want to be? No. no. The size of your waist. <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. Love your work. Should be fun. Are we the last to arrive? Okay, we're in business. All the guests have arrived, but Michael has one outstanding task to do before the show can begin. He needs to complete the shortlist for the most stylish woman on the night award. Decide on a shortlist of eight, but we only have six. So I have to go inside and leer at women up and down to try and pick two extra women. Uh, who we think are really stylish and at the same time have a kind of broad spread of the ace so they're not all young models, you know, as is the temptation. So I'm going to go inside and just ogle women for five minutes, all in the name of work. With the night that's in it, it doesn't take him too long to complete the list. Little oasis of tranquility, the middle of all the madness. It's not going to last. So what about Michael's speech? Oh, it's about sick. Pieces of paper, I don't know. What is my shopping list for tomorrow? I hope I don't read that out. We're starting in about two minutes. 
just over an hour behind schedule, and the whole bash can get underway. The great and the good of the Irish social scene are ready for Michael to take centre stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for coming and I want to thank the person who runs and drives and the main reason that most of you come to this event every year, Emer O'Reilly Highland. In the spirit of cutbacks, I'm going to cut back slightly on my speech. The first award to be announced is the most stylish woman on the night, selected from Michael's shortlist and voted for by the guests. I'm now going to ask Emer O'Reilly Highland to come up and announce the winner. The winner is, like a peacock, Ashling O'Loughlin. Well done. Next up is the Man of Style Award. Brian has been nominated. And the winner is... Brian. You might even pay attention when I call out his name. It's Nicky Byrne. Well, I'm delighted. Thank you very much. I'm so glad I won this over uh, a couple of people. First of all, Brian Ormond, because... Those of you who didn't know, Brian beat me in a final of a karaoke when we were 19. So this is sweet revenge, Brian. All right? Thank you. No luck there for Brian. But he has one more chance in the next category, the most stylish couple. Pippa and himself were nominated. Will all the preparation pay off? Here is the top four most stylish couples in Ireland, as voted for by the readers of VIP. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to have a personal favourite. But Ann Doyle and Dan McGrattan are my personal favourites. Couple number two, Brian Ormond and Pip O'Connor, better known as Brippa. Ah, I thought it was Corman. Hard to actually get photographs of the pair of them, I have to say. They don't get out much. Here's Brian and Pippa on a rare social outing in a casual look. We found another picture. Oh look, we have another picture. Oh, we have another one. Here they are again. At home with Brian and Pippa. I think that is every single picture taken of Brian and Pippa in the last week. <laughs> Nominee number three, yeah. Roland and Yvonne Keating. Number four, Rosanna Davison and Wesley Quirk. The last of our stylish couple nominees. The winner of the most stylish couple is again in front of me. It is Yvonne and Roland Keating. Yvonne had to travel solo tonight, as Ronan was away climbing Kilimanjaro for comic relief. Thanks to everybody. It's a real honour. Thanks very much. Now it's time for the biggest award of the night. Ireland's most stylish woman as voted for by the public. Amanda Brunker has her fingers crossed. The winner tonight I'm particularly pleased to announce because I think she's a particularly wonderful lady. Lorraine Keane, please come up and take your ride. try and speak. Oh, um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you to everybody who voted. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think we need somebody to give you a few little words of advice on your new role as most stylish woman in Ireland and that's last year's winner is Andrea Roach here. So congratulations and thank God Lorraine won. So the winner will certainly be on expose tomorrow. <laughs> they were going to be anyway. Be. <laughs> Except for last year. <laughs> oh. Tell them, tell my crew why I lost. Why? Why I was robbed. You see, the hint was the name of the award is the most stylish woman. Okay. If it was the most fantastic woman, if it was the most outgoing woman, 
if it was the woman whose you body see, has metamorphosized to such a degree in the last five years that she is barely recognizable, Amanda Bunker would have been up on stage. Okay. But you're a rookie. You can't expect to win in the first year. That's I've just nice. Told you. That's a nice you're thing. in the top three. <gasps> That's Not cool. first, you know? Like Obviously. Because close we're... but no cigar. Of all the people to win the award and to get used to the photograph and be able to tolerate it, Lorraine is the perfect choice. Yeah. She is the epitome of VIP. Excellent night, I have to say. And as I said earlier on, Michael didn't let us down. Hilarious on stage, as always. Not scripted. Off the cuff. Fantastic. Probably. Embarrassing for us, but... No, he's great. And you know, he didn't let anyone down. It was great night. Really good. Yeah, it's been really good fun, hasn't it? I don't know. How do you sum up the day? Um, it's, it's kind of, it's strange being in the middle of it. It's strange, it's always different on the outside looking in than it is on the inside looking out. I think a lot of people imagine it to be spectacular and glamorous and a roller coaster of fashion and beauty and style and air kissing. And on the inside, it's, it's work, you know, there's a lot of work. It's like do a job like any other job, but I'm under no illusions. Do you know what? This is a great job and I wouldn't prefer to be doing anything else in the world right now than this job. Hard work as it is, I wouldn't trade it in for anybody.